Ethel is only eight years old, but she couldn't go to school today. She had to work in the fields alongside her family. In Malawi, widespread poverty, lack of education, and HIV make child labor hard to defeat, especially in the countryside and on farms. With support from ILO's SNAP program, funded by the U.S. Department of Labor, entire communities are coming together to make a positive difference. District labor officers inspect farms every day, looking for child laborers. The officers have the authority to arrest any landowner suspected of using child labor. Local leaders meet in child labor committees to discuss the information gathered by the officers and members of the community, including the village chiefs. Using a child labor monitoring system, the committees identify children in child labor and refer them to school or training. Older children are enrolled in Malawi's public school system. The youngest get basic, non-formal education to prepare them for school. Children between 14 and 18 years old are referred to vocational training. They learn skills like carpentry, tailoring, barbering, and setting up solar energy systems at service outlets, which also double as retail stores. The trainees also learn how to set up their own business to sell what they make. All of the infrastructure, the facilities and the equipment, were bought by ILO's SNAP program and now belong to the community. It has changed lives. As you can see from my face, this project has made me very happy. This has really helped me and my friends. We can support ourselves because of the project. The vocational skills training can lead directly into employment. Joseph Omari is a former child laborer who set up his own tailoring business, which is thriving. If I compare what I'm doing now with what I was doing in the past, my lifestyle and my status has really changed. I can buy whatever I want thanks to this business, and before I wasn't able to buy anything. Since the introduction of the ILO SNAP program in Malawi in 2009, more than 5,500 children have been withdrawn or prevented from entering child labor. SNAP has not only changed lives, but also changed attitudes about child labor. The lessons learned are helping to influence the national policy and response to child labor. For the future, I have a vision to have my own shop, and I won't employ children. I will only employ adults. 